the first step in installing the NT06. You're going to put the backplate in, as you can see, dual sided backplate. Uh, you do have to put the pins in yourself. It is clearly marked. This side for AMD, this side for Intel. Very important you know, that's the side that goes against the motherboard. So Intel motherboard, this side will face the motherboard. As you can see, there are three screw holes uh, on the back plate. Choose the correct. 775 on the inside, 1155, 156, 1366. Choose the correct one and just push the bolt right through. It'll hold into place. The isolation material actually will hold the bolt pretty well into place. So we'll just slip that onto the back of the motherboard. And as you can see, bolts will come through. Next, four spacers. We'll push on. Just a simple rubber plastic spacer. And these are also good because they will hold the back plate into place while you're working. They do snug up a little bit. Next, we're going to put on the retention brackets. Um, the retention brackets are directional. They are not bi-directional. They mount with the narrow end facing the CPU. So the 775 screw holes will face the CPU. Uh, mounting them this way will not work. You do need to mount them directionally. And once you've got them on, actually, there we go. With proper alignment, four thumb screws will hold them into place. These are thumb screws. You notice there is no provision for any type of tool. You tighten them by hand. You just want them snug. You don't want to go breaking out a pair of pliers and over tightening them. You want to just put them on until they're snug. And once you've got the four snug, you are all ready to drop the cooler into place. With the mounting and retention brackets all in place, uh, I've gone ahead and applied the thermal interface material and we're going to drop the unit in. You are going to be working a little bit blind, so it, it can be a little bit tough. Um, what we're going to do is drop it in. The center crossbar is going to go across and we'll screw down two points of the crossbar onto the two posts. Uh, you do have the holes to work through. You will be working through the fan. Fan gets installed first. So good to drop it in once without the thermal interface material. Get yourself lined up and get yourself some marker points. Uh, you can see through if you move the fan blades a little bit. So you can get yourself lined up pretty nicely. Once you've got that lined up, slip through. The center bracket, line it up, once you're all aligned, screwdriver goes right through the heat sinks and the fan blade and you can tighten it down. With the install completed, the NT06 Pro, uh, obviously very, very short in stature, shorter than standard size graphics card, obviously. Um, you do have room without a problem for all four sticks of RAM, as long as you're using standard height RAMs. Uh, RAM, as far as using any of the taller heatsink RAM, uh, obviously you can forget about it unless you remove the heat sinks. So, fan sits underneath, clean install. Uh, you do work a little bit blind. It did take about four minutes to get it lined up and actually secured down.
But other than that, install is very simple. I mean, the install kit itself, the uh, brackets, very quick to install. Only part that's going to give you any trouble whatsoever is getting it lined up. And that's just going to be a little bit of finesse and, you know, a couple of minutes of lining up. So overall, clean, quick install, looks good in the case, and obviously very, very uh, slight in the height factor.